after introducing to these symbols and their uses, you realize that um, it is easier to use the entity relationship diagrams. To start with, we have the shapes or, shape, uh, or we call them the symbols, symbols that are used to uh, depict or to represent something else. Like for instance, uh, we have the entity. The entity is the thing uh, or object in which database is kept about. Like a student, uh, we can talk of a vehicle. That is the entity. Then we have uh, the attributes. Attributes refers to the characteristics. These are the characteristics of something. Like a student has the ID number, registration number, M E T C. When it comes to attributes, uh, we have uh, the following types. We have a uh, multivariate attribute. This is an attribute that can be used to depict more than one situation. Like um, a student may have two, dif uh, two different phone numbers or something like location. Somebody may uh, live in different locations. Like somebody may come from Nakuru County but lives in Nyeri County. Therefore, for a multivalued attribute, we use this shape, uh, an ellipse with two double edge uh, or with two lines. Uh, then we have the we have the 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 other type of attribute. We call it the derived attribute. Now, the derived attribute is uh, an attribute in which it does not actually exist but created. For instance, uh, we we depict it as the uh, as using the dashes. Therefore, this symbol uh, shows uh, an uh, derived derived attribute attribute. Uh, like for in, for example. Uh, you may have uh, uh, the derived attribute. Somebody may give you the year of birth and the current year. Then you are supposed to calculate the age of an employee or a student. Therefore, you can use this one as the uh, depicted, that is the derived, derived attribute. <clears throat> Therefore, these are the attributes that I will be using. Multivariate, use this symbol. Uh, derived, use this symbol. Then uh, we have the relationship. To draw the relationship, we use the kite, this one. But uh, this depicts the relationship. But in Frocha, to use it as a decision. But then after now having that, we also uh, appreciate and recognize smartdraw.com and the relationship diagram. This is where this knowledge is. And then from there, I'll take you to an example, uh, an example of a ER diagram. We shall draw one example and then you'll be in a position to understand the concept. Therefore basically I have uh, three uh, entity, I have project, I have department and I have the employee. Now the employee works for the department at a certain project. The project belongs to this department and also the employee de uh, must have a department. Therefore basically these are our three entities that are be uh, working on. To start with, uh, we draw uh, we, we draw uh, the project. We just right click, go to add. This is a uh, project. Project. Mm -hmm. Then this is our first uh, entity. Then we draw our second entity. Our second entity is department department then our third entity this is our second entity our third entity is the employee the employee employee now the employee is our third entity and then from here uh, we can remove this uh, this one we don't need this we already have the idea what we want. Therefore, we can start with this uh, giving 
entities to these three attributes. Therefore, the first one uh, we shall use the uh, we shall draw we shall draw the attributes of each. Then, after doing so, uh, we shall be in a position to uh, attach them. That is, you link them. Uh, therefore, to draw the, the to draw the the attributes, we use the arrows. Like for instance, uh, uh, like for instance, I will be in a position to to draw the this one like that. Uh, for the employee, we shall have uh, the various attributes. Like we have the employee number. Now, for the special fields like employee, like the employee number, which is our primary key or a unique attribute, uh, we use we add rain. Eh? We add rain. Uh, we add rain the the attribute like that. Then uh, 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 we have. Um, we have another attribute there, like now, we might have uh, the employee name, employee name, employee name, employee name. Uh, then we might have something different from the employee name, uh, our employee might have any other attribute like date of birth. Then we go to the project. Now the project, uh, we can draw, draw the attributes of the project. Mm -hmm. uh, we have we have the project number. Number. This is since this is a, a primary key or a special key, we can underline it that way. Then uh, we might have something different here for the employee. Like uh, now we shall have something like um, uh, for the project, we have something like the location, the location of the project. Then we can have something different like um, uh, right now, uh, we, we might have something like, okay, have the number. He also may have the name of the project, which uh, is part of that. Eh? Then we can also have the attributes of the department. The attributes of the department, you have the manager that or the boss the manager uh, then uh, we may decide to have something different mm, now like uh, okay i need to have something different for the department something like the number department might have a number number of the department remember this is an ellipse this is the primary key uh, then our department, our department might have a name that is the departmental name. The departmental name, a departmental name. Then uh, we need to connect this one. We connect this one. We also connect this one. Uh, then after doing so, we need to introduce the relationship, the relationship um, uh, icon here. Like now, we need to have uh, the relationship here. We want the gadget, the, the department to be related uh, with the, this one. Then we can type the word controls here. Con control. Controls like for example now they use the verbs 
uh, right now the the employee uh, uh, this one is for this point here yeah? sorry for that this one is for for this part here yeah? the relationship then you have um, Okay, the the, impro, the that is the the employee the, the employee versus the project. Now this is the wax on. You want to uh, to put the key back here. Wax on. Then we can also draw the other relationship uh, between. Now the project, the project and the department. Uh, before doing so, it is crucial. It is advisable for us to match this. We uh, match this to be one. You hold shift and click and click um, everything. Just once, one at a time. You click one at a time, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. That way, then you. Um, you can go to grouping, then group that way. In that, now this uh, okay, this is not yet grouped. I want to group. Uh, then from there, now you realize that this one can be moved together. Uh -huh. Then we need to group this one together also. You go just hold the shift. You just hold the shift. Uh, then a group, then we can be in a position now to move this downwards. Uh, this one is not okay. Then now after having this, I can uh, draw the the relationship now again. That is the relationship between all these two departments, which can also be drawn at this point. Therefore, we have uh, this one and also this one. Now basically, you uh, you realize that uh, this one controls 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 uh, controls. Now you realize that the department is this department controls the project, and therefore from the point of view, you realize that uh, we have the entity the employee with the attributes, we have the relationship, then we have the entity project uh, with the attributes, the relationship and the department. Then in, if we want to uh, look at um, something like the derived, uh, the derived attribute here, uh, assume uh, this uh, employee has the, uh, you have been assigned the date of birth and after being assigned the date of birth, you want to calculate the age based on the uh, on, on the age on the year of that is current year and the year of birth. Therefore, this way, uh, after doing this, you will be in a position to or what you are actually doing, you are showing that it is a derived attribute. It is attribute that did not exist but was calculated. Therefore, some people may also call it a created attribute, which is okay. Therefore, basically, that's how you uh, work on.